lined up for reconstruction as the fourth roundabout by Legushi, the fifth roundabout by Jakande Estate, and the eighth roundabout by Victoria Garden City. The completed parts of the project have already been opened to motorists. As planned, the affected roundabouts would be replaced with traffic lights, with the expansion of the roads and provision of dedicated turning lanes as well as additional laybys. Uh, because in traffic engineering, once your traffic gets between five to ten thousand uh, vehicles per day, then the roundabout becomes inefficient. So hence, we have this perennial congestion. Part of the solution here is to take away the roundabout, and in doing that, we are going to signalize the junction. This is the solution that has been adopted all over the world. And not only that, we are also providing pedestrian walkway. Meanwhile, as the traffic situation lingers, the acting commissioner for transport is seen here helping to decongest the gridlock. The post that we handle. The signal light is, is there already. So by first week of January, um, let's say second week of January, we have everything in place. So there will be no need for manual alternation anymore. So the signal light will alternate it automatically. Despite the traffic situation, motorists are upbeat about the benefits of the project. In fact, I don't really know what's going to happen, but it used to be really bad, really, really bad. But I think Ambode uh, seems to be thinking along what people expect of him. I think he's going to be great. Really, at least now you can see free movement of traffic and all that. Oh, it was not so, so good, but let them try to do more, the most they can to minimize all this hold up. Otherwise, otherwise they're doing a great work. When complete, this project will ensure smooth vehicular movement and reduce travel time on the Lekki Expressway.